guys, welcome back to Earthly Kisses. My name is Jay. I am the owner and artisan soul creator of Earthly Kisses Bath and Body. And today we are crossing new boundaries and making a new style of soap. Sort of. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing what kind of creations we're going to make today, stick around. Okay, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell so you can get notified of all my new soaping creations. If you're old to the channel, thanks for coming back. Welcome back. And today, we're going to get right on into this soap. Uh, it is going to be a Love Spell scented soap. Uh, new boundaries today. This is going to be a slab mold soap. Uh, this will be my first time doing this particular style of soap. I have no idea how this is going to turn out when I go to cut this soap because here is my mold. I ordered this mold off of Amazon.com. This is a Nicole mold. Um, it's a small slab mold, but then again, I only paid $26 for it. And I'm kind of surprised by the quality. Um... The outer exterior, it seems like it'll hold up okay. It's not too bad, but I was really impressed with the uh, silicone on the inside of this mold. Um, so um, I'm glad I bought it. Um, the wonky size, I'm trying to work around it. As you can see, I got some things marked off here um, just to help guide me and help me vision what I'm going to do with my soap because, of course, I did not plan. So we're going to go ahead and get things incorporated here. In here I have uh, coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil, avocado oil. Is that right? Where's my recipe? <laughs> I have avocado, coconut, olive oil, palm, shea butter, castor, and rice bran oil in here. We got some sodium lactate going on in there. Some silk is in the lye water. Um, as well as kale and clay in the oils. Now, um, also in my lye water, um, I used half water, half aloe vera juice. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this all mixed up. That's just my oils and my clay. Now, um, this is going to be fun. I haven't made a batch this big, this big in, in quite some time. Um, this mold holds 60 ounces of oil, according to my calculations. Uh, this is actually 61 ounces of oil. If I have extra soap, who cares? We can always find something creative to do with that. Um, the idea is to just make sure that we got enough soap in the mold. So here is my live water and aloe vera juice. Good emulsion going on there. Alright. As you can see, nice and fluid. I hope you guys are liking the new angle that I've chosen for the camera. Um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I have this on top of a just a box. It's a big, huge box of containers that I got, so I'm using it as a lift for the camera. Alright. So I want to make sure that's good and well incorporated. Uh, for new soapers, when you're, uh, when you start moving up in your back sizes, you got to make sure that everything is mixed in really well. Um, it can trick you. <laughs> so, we will see if I can pour this without making a mess. So 
So the base color of this soap is going to be white. And then we're going to have two accent colors of purple and pink. Okay, let me call that good. Let me give this a scrape down. And I actually like using this container. This was just a cheap old set that I got it's from Family Dollar. It's a whole set of bowls. I was looking for some things uh, to use that I can store some of my ingredients in and uh, yeah alright so that's what we got going on here so this big one here is going to be white And this one is going to be a pink. Let's we'll see how we can get that achieved. I'm going to use some of this really red mica to try to get my pink. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I was going to be purple. And then we're going to add our fragrance. This is Love Spell from uh, Crafter's Choice, Wholesale Supplies Plus. A little bit there. A little bit there. A little bit more over here. And we're going to put the rest in that big one. So. Gonna make sure we get all of that scent on out of there. That's little droplets hanging on there. Come on out of there. All right. All right. So now we got our mold here, and. Uh, you would think I would have thought out what I'm going to do here, but I still haven't. Now, one thing I did think out was how I'm going to cut these bars of soap. Um, I'm going to do three rolls this way and cut it to get five bars this way. Um, this mold is higher than my regular loaf molds that I've been making soap with as of late. So I'm hoping there won't be that much of a difference uh, as far as the weight of the soap, um, even though it's going to be cut a bit different than my standard bars of soap. So we'll see how this goes. But we're just playing around, having some fun, and making sure we can do some creative and interesting things with this mold. <laughs> even though I just got it to, put to play. Now what I am looking for, which I would love to do is, um, I would love to do a column pour. Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to do a column pour for years. So I would love to do that. So we're going to start off with the white. I'm just going to put a good amount of that in there, like so. And so because we're going to cut this way, I'm just going to zigzag up and down that way. So when we cut into the soap, we can actually see the swirl designs. And this 
soul batter is just so lovely right now. So lovely. Now it's starting to thicken just a little bit, but it's nothing unbearable. Now I haven't worked out whether I'm going to do a hanger on this or not. Um, I'm not even sure if my hanger will fit in this mold. Exactly. I haven't even bothered to try, so we're not going to do that today. Oh, I'm already making a mess. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells so wonderful. And because it's starting to thicken up on me, I'm going to start pouring from way up high. So it can really get down in there. So we're starting to get full here. I'm going to save that a little bit for the top. Bit more white to go. Right down the center, just let it push all that yummy goodness right down in there. Take that tidbit for the top. And I wind up with more pink. <laughs> And purple left, so I'm gonna try one more pass down with that. And all right, that's gonna be the end of that. I'm gonna get this lip bangy bangy. Looks like our measurements was pretty accurate. We are to the tip top here. <laughs> was not uh, expecting that at all. Not up there. So, um, I was complaining to Malta and Gripe when I got this because that's typically what I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm liking this mold. I'm liking the mold. I am digging the mold. So now that we're to the very tip top here, just gonna drizzle that in there. No rhyme or reason. Just get it in there because I have figured out what I wanted to figure out, which is. Um, if I was going to indeed have enough, um, and I was contemplating, um, doing some piping on the top, but I didn't, um, because I just did not know how well the wood base was going to hold up, because it, it's not thick like most molds that I've seen. 
Um, but I did not expect it to be for the price that I paid for it, really. Alright. Splatters on the top. Now. Oh, gosh darn, that's what I should have done to the top of this. Oh, well. This would have been a nice uh, soap to do a Michael Squirrel. Alright. Give that a good scrape down. Get everything out of there. Get all in the mood. All right. After that. So this soaked fantastically. This is one of my favorite scents. I absolutely love this fragrance uh, from Victoria's Secrets. And I shopped long and hard to find one, a fragrance that came out smelling like Victoria's Secret. I tried um, Loving Spell from Nature's Garden. That one kind of mixed, missed the mark for me. It was nice. I did not dislike it. It just wasn't what I was what I was going for at the time when I was choosing a fragrance. Alright. So I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. I certainly am. Um, had some challenges this week with my website, but I think I got that handled and worked out now. So, it's back to Creativity City. <laughs> to swirl or not to swirl because I do like the splatter tops <laughs> I can't help it. I love having my swirls. It just did something to me. I don't know. It just, oof. When I cut this off, I just, oof. Lose my whole mind. Okay. Alright, I don't think we're going to get the rest of that out of there. I don't want to play nice no more. Alright. Give this another bangy bangy. Whoa, did you see that? That is why you wear protective wear. See that? Long sleeves, gloves, glasses. And of course, I always cover my hair. Um, all right. <laughs> I've never had soap spit up at me like that. So, let me get back cleaned up. Yeah, so I think I am liking this mold. Like I said, I, I, uh, I fussed about it. Yes, I did. But, um, I like it. And, um, uh, over right here might play nice enough where we get some nice pretty whisks. 
So, gotta go lengthwise around the, the mood in that way. So, I'm going to do like this this way first. And, like I said, this is just experimentation. And we're going to do that on this side as well. Alright. And then we're going to... Again, I like it like that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> some more oh yeah definition in the swirls Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to call that good. It would not be able to hold somebody under their slip spell if it didn't have glitter. Come on. You know me. It got to have the glitter. So we're going to bang it with some of that. I love this purple stuff. I can't remember if I bought it or if I got it as a sample, but I love this stuff. It is just something, something special. It, yes, it is. And then we're going to do it, hit it with the white. Shimmer. Alright, I'm going to do that. Get that little shimmery, shimmery. And then, of course, some iridescence. Got to have the iridescence. All right, guys, let me give you a close up. So that's the Love Spell Soap made in the slab mold coming to the Earthly Kisses store soon if all goes well. So without further ado, we're going to let this set up and we'll be bringing it back at the cut. Don't go anywhere. The cut is coming up next. Mm. Alright Kiss Universe, I'm so here are the lows here. I um, I don't have a log splitter yet. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one now that I got this mold in. As you can see, I kind of cut my soap a little wonky there. Um, I can't cut straight down, apparently. <laughs> but it still turned out pretty. They're cute little, cute little mini lows. So, um... Let's go ahead and get this cut and see uh, how it does. Um, I have no idea how it is. I'm going to be cutting this soap. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I have no clue uh, what I'm going to be doing with this soap because it's so funny shake. Uh, I may um, go ahead and put together a um, gift set. 
with a bunch of soaps because we got Mother's Day coming up and, you know, I got to start thinking about that stuff, you know, so I'm not behind the ball. So that's one theory that I have in mind. And, okay, so these soaps are going to be cut about an inch apart and we'll just see how that goes. But it's so pretty. So pretty. And the ends are nice and smooth. I'm probably I'm not going to cut those off. ready to cut here. It would have been nice if I did all of that before I started the camera. Alright, here we go. Oh, that turned out lovely. Absolutely lovely. And, um, it's a little bit different than the last time I did a video on this soap. Um, I didn't realize it until after the soap was well into the mold that um, I took a skewer through it the last time I made it. So, I didn't do that this time. It's fine, though. So, like I said, you know, these are probably going to go into, like, a little gift set or something like that. We'll see how it goes. But that turned out super cute. They are very pretty. I'm loving the colors. Just your typical love spell colors. And it's looking like my mica uh, didn't mix very well in there for me. So, um, I'm debating on if I like this mold or not. Um, you can do all kind of wonky things with this. So I'll be playing with this for a while, learning how to cut soap other than your typical uh, loaf soap. I can't believe my mica didn't mix in better than that. That's just like a that's a first for me. I usually don't have issues with that. And this is really wonky, so I'm probably going to have to go back and cut this side off to even that out. It was like a, almost like a diamond shape. <laughs> but, uh, and what my soap won't be like this for too long. I have requested of my wonderful bow to make me a log splitter. nice and smooth but those are just like really cute yeah so I asked him I said do you think you can do this for me and he said yeah I can do that so I said absolutely great so I'm just waiting for him to do his magic and uh make my wonderful lock splitter. But I am super fantastic. Oh, these squirrels are awesome. Aside from that issue with the mica, and it's really not that bad, but because I know it's there, it's like annoying me. Yeah, so while this mold might be small, it makes uh, about six. Am I saying that right? Uh, this mold holds 60 ounces of, of oil. I actually did, my recipe was 61. And I actually got it all in there. So, I had to get a gauge on what it was going to hold. Um, because I got some interesting things that's coming up. Um, I got a lot of first time soaping experiences coming up. And uh, also, and I don't know, see, I didn't know what I was going to do with this soap. I already cut some grooves in it on this end. 
not realizing that I didn't need to do that. <laughs> so see, that's another really wonky shaped soap. So I'm probably just going to put those in like a gift set or something so that the size really won't matter all that much. Because these are definitely not the same size as my other soaps. And as a matter of fact, as far as weight is concerned, I'm surprised. That's a 4.85 bar of soap. Granted, then 4.75. Uh, I'm shocked. <laughs> They are even that way that much. Uh, that's yeah, that's kind of surprising. So, yeah, so that's probably what we're gonna do with those because they're still super cute. The swirls turned out so lovely. Can't ask for anything better than that. Okay, so this one I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah, because I put that groove mark in there a little too deep. <laughs> so lovely. Yeah, so the next time I may go back to my original design and poke that um, skewer through it. Almost like a foam swirl. But they turned out super cute. Smells really good. Now that's a nice chunky bar right there. But that's because um, I was playing around with measuring how I was going to cut these darn things. Because I just could not. That's a 5.5 .5 bar of soap. Wow. Yeah, that one is kind of chunky. <clears throat> So yeah, I guess I'll be playing around with this mold and seeing what I can do with it. Um, you know, just having a little more soaping fun. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. And thanks for watching the entire video to the end. If you're old, thanks so much for coming back again and again. I really appreciate your support. Like. Give me a thumbs up if you like the new design. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the mold. And until the next time, bye.